Hello, lovely world. So, as I was, you know, prepping to fi figure out what this video was going to be today, I realized something very, very important. That this is the... We've seen so many weekends in... Tw I know this sounds boring and it's not going to be very entertaining or exciting or anything like that, but we've seen a... We've seen a lot of weekends in 2020 so far. And this just so happens to be the last day of July. And it starts the weekend. There are still, you know, so many more weekends that could hap that are going to happen in in 2020. And when I was when I was in my 30 or in my late 20s, mid to late 20s, I used to go out as much as I possibly could on the weekends, whether it was a Friday night, whether it was a Saturday night, I hardly ever went out on Sunday, you know, and, and since, you know, Mr. or Miss Corona, whatever you want to classify it as, it's been a little bit more difficult to do things on the weekend with your friends or with anyone, really, because we're confined... I'm not saying it's it's a bad thing. Please, please, please stay inside until we know we can beat this. Because right now, as of yesterday, it might have changed by now, but as of yesterday, there was 151,000 plus deaths to this, and there was about 4.5 million confirmed cases of, of corona or COVID-19 in the United States. That's a lot of... of individuals that have died even though that's only like a small portion of the world because there's seven billion people on planet earth but 151,000 it shouldn't even have gotten to that point and before it's all said and done there's going to be so many more and I would love nothing more to go and see a movie on on Friday at Friday morning or Friday afternoon or even Friday evening again or go to see, or go see friends again without having to worry about wearing a mask. Now, please don't misinterpret that. I want it. I want everyone to be safe and wear a damn mask because it's important and it's and it's inevitable that if you don't wear a mask, you're gonna get you're gonna get it. Plain and simple. I don't know why you guys constantly think that not wearing a mask is gonna help. It's not. Wear a damn mask, please, for my safety and for the safety of every single American out there that still, you know, has to deal with this on a daily basis. If you, if you don't have it or you're, you know, or you've had it and you, and you've uh, survived it, please, I'm begging you, wear a mask, please. Anyways, that's beside the point. I want to be able to go out and hang out with friends in a bar or eating lunch or eating dinner with friends again or going on a trip with friends to celebrate something, whether it's a certain year of friendship or it's someone's birthday or it's my birthday or whatever it is. I want to be able to do things on the weekend again, but I can't do that until everyone realizes that this is a very serious issue. So please, for my safety, for your grandparents' safety, for your parents' safety, for your brother's safety, your sister's safety, your friend's safety, even a complete stranger you don't know, please, please wear a mask so that we can do things again outside where we don't have to worry about, you know, uh, or getting this virus because I guarantee you every single person on this planet who who's you know smart enough to know that wearing a mask helps and you know staying indoors also helps those are the two things that you could do to help fight this this virus that's been going around since since February basically and even before that in January and December it's it's important that we get to be able to go outside again and not have to worry about this virus I know this they're trying to work on a cure right now but 
I want you guys to realize that every single person on this planet is either getting bored or is getting, you know, tired of staying indoors and wants to hang out with their friends. So please be safe. Please do things that are smart, like wearing a mask or staying indoors. So you, even if you have it, stay indoors for at least two weeks, at least. Or that's what they're saying, 14 days until the pa virus passes. But they, like I said, I've heard reports that they're working on a cure and they're getting closer and closer to it. But, you know, they're not going to have enough to, to, for every single human being, unless you do the smart thing and the right thing and staying indoors. And if you have to go outdoors to go to the grocery store or somewhere where you need to get an essential like a pharmacy, wear a mask. So that we could go back outside and go to the movies again and go to restaurants again and eat inside restaurants again and go to a bar or a nightclub or whatever it may be. Please, I want to be able to go back out on the weekends to hang out with friends I haven't seen in a very long time. But I can't do, I'm not going to do that because I know it's wrong to to go out there without a mask on and get sick and then spread it to someone else that I care about. So, look, it's all about, you know, being able to hang out with our friends again. It's all about, you know, doing things that we wanted, that we want to do before this whole thing happened. I know life isn't going to go back to fully normal if it was ever normal before the, before coronavirus started or COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it. But I want to be able to do things outside again, whether it's going to see a movie, whether it's going to see some friends, whether it's going to a bar and having a few drinks and just having a good time. I want to be able to have fun again, but in a respectful way. And we can't do that and we shouldn't do that because you could you could have it and not even know it because you don't have the symptoms or something like that. Please, please, I implore you, I beg you, I plead with you, stay indoors, and if you have to go outside, wear a freaking mask. It's that simple. So that we, we can beat COVID-19 as much as we, we can, or beat the virus, and not have to worry about it ever again. It may take a year before it's, you know, fully gone or it may take five years. But please, even with the virus, they're working on making a cure for it. Please be safe. So that way we can hang out with friends on the weekend. So that way we can, you know, go to the movies and see a movie again in theaters. You know, things like that. Going to a baseball game as well. Or going to a concert or a basketball game or a football game. Or a hockey, ice hockey game. Those are the things that, and going to comic, future comic cons and stuff like that. We we all want to be able to go and do things again outside of the real world, but we can't do that, and we shouldn't do that until it's completely safe. I want to go see you know Taylor Swift in concert. I want to go see Selena Gomez in concert. I want to go to a movie premiere in in Los Angeles and New York. I want to go to, you know, do all these things, but I'm not going to because it's not safe right now. And when it does become safe and there's a cure and we finally beat this thing, I will do it in a respectful manner. I mean, whenever I go outside, whenever I'm going to the grocery store, or whenever I'm going to pick up some food from a restaurant, I wear a mask. Even though sometimes it's not, you know, the most reliable Thing, I still wear it. It's it's the most important thing for me to do to protect my parents, to protect my siblings, to pre protect my aunts and uncles, to protect my cousins, to protect my friends, to protect anyone on this earth that has hasn't had it or has had it and they don't want to give it to me. They wear a mask. Anyways, I want to be able to do all those things I said before, and I'm planning on doing it when it's safe to do so again. Like I said, it could take a year. It could take five years. 
or it could take a year and a half. Who knows when the cure will be administered to every single American who's in contact who's been in contact with someone who has coronavirus or COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it. I'm asking you from all of my heart, please be safe so that we, we can go outside and, you know, interact with our friends again without wearing, having to wear a mask. But wear a mask now. And then, you know, you know, we can do things like go to a bar or go to a nightclub or go to a restaurant or, you know, anything really. A grocery store, whatever it is. For right now, everyone just please wear a mask. That's all I'm asking. You may not agree with the method of wearing one, but it protects you from, you know, getting it or it protects you, it protects the people around you from getting it as well. If you're wearing a mask outside, like going to the grocery store and so forth and so on. So that way we can do things on the weekend again or do things during the week, like go to our jobs and even though I don't have a job or go to, uh, go to lunch with a friend or go to dinner with a friend or have drinks with friends or go to the movies, whatever it is. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I want to wish, um, who was it that has a birthday today? Nikki Barber, a happy birthday today. And anyone else who has a birthday today, I want to wish you the happiest of birthdays, even though we're in the most difficult of times right now. Just happy birthday. Whatever age you're celebrating, just happy birthday. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Bye-bye.